What's the matter, mister? Water. Water. Hold on, I'll get you something. Come on. Come on. You're all right. Oh. Never trust a stranger, Rebel. Write that down. Go, kid, please. It's a posse. They're after me. I'm being framed. Should have knocked your teeth down your throat till I had a chance. Jackals! Jailbreak hasn't helped your cause any, Will. Just so I know where to find you when I get out. Get in behind bars, Claude. Let's go, Blue Belly. Much obliged to you for catching this traitor. Don't thank me. I don't care how many jails he breaks out of. Just so as he don't borrow my horse. Holy Claude. You say this man tried to steal your horse, son? That's what I said. I'll leave him alone, son. Don't sink to his level. Let's go, Blue Belly. You itching for a fight? I'll give you one. Oh, no rough stuff. He's handcuffed. Be fair. He's a desperate man, son. No one invited you to turn my other cheek. You ready, Judge? You go ahead, Claude. I'll ride in with this young fella. Ah! What's your name, son? Yuma. Johnny Yuma. Johnny Yuma. Come on in, Johnny. Second best room in the house. Of course, I've got the best. <laughs> I've been using my saddle for a pillow so long, I, I don't know if I can take all this. Well, the easiest thing in the world to adjust to is comfort, I always say. Ah. <laughs> huh. All right, eh? You know, I wanted to be one once, but uh, it was a long time ago. Yeah, I guess the woods are full of them. You uh, staying in town long, Johnny? <sighs> so far, I've never stayed any place long. Yeah, I guess the war left a lot of restlessness in its wake. Young fellas like you just rushing from nowhere to no place. Strange times. But I'm glad you're staying long enough to give testimony against our number one bad boy. You mean that horse thief? It'll be a pleasure. Man is innocent until he's proven guilty, son. I can sure tell it wasn't your jaw. <laughs> well, now, you're the guest of the town, Johnny. Make the most of it. Cafe downstairs, everything on the house. Oh, and, uh, see, stick around a couple of days after the trial. Get to know us. How soon you figure the trial will be? Oh, in about an hour. An hour? How's he going to be ready for that? I mean, doesn't he need time to get a lawyer or prepare a defense or anything? <laughs> this town is just a dot on the map, Johnny. You know, we're lucky we got a judge in the courthouse. But you've got a sense of fair play, and uh, I like that. See, this man's going to have a jury trial, and in spite of the town's feeling towards him, I'll be there to see if they do right by him. See, I'd better save my speeches for the courtroom, you know? I'm getting to be a regular old windbag.
Come on in. Uh, are you Johnny Yuma? The judge thinks of everything, doesn't he? Well, I'm Elaine Randall. Well, come on in, Elaine Randall. Is there, uh, is there something one of us can do for the other? Y yes, there is. Well, uh, come on in. Tell me about it. Oh, well, I'm not part of all this southern hospitality, if that's what you're thinking. You're not a part of the south, either, from the sound of you. What are you a part of? I... I have a proposition to make to you. Oh? My father is Will Randall. Before you turn a man over to a mob, the least you could do would be find out what his name is. I'm sorry. Uh, would you sit down? Spare me the gentleman performance, please. I really couldn't stand it. Two hundred dollars. It's all I have in the world. I want you to help my father. Oh, please, don't be coy, Mr. Yuma. You sold yourself to a lynch mob for mere room and board. Surely you could you could switch loyalties for two hundred dollars. Boy, you've picked up all your father's charm, haven't you? You better walk away. But, oh, I, oh, I'm I'm terribly sorry. I I thought you were like all the others. Mr. Yuma, my father's being framed. They, they hate him because he fought with the North and, and because he despises this town and everything that it stands for. They've stolen his land and, and now they want to kill him. Oh, you've got to help him, Mr. Yuma, please. He's innocent. Look, last time I tried to help him, I got kicked in the teeth and nearly lost my horse. So save your breath. I'm not going to walk into that courtroom to please anyone but me. It's going to give me real pleasure. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. to a fair trial here. A fair trial. You mealy my no. hypocrites! You little Yankee! Silence! But we know how you feel about us, Will. Lord knows you told us often enough. And you got a tongue on you, I'll give you that. He's, uh, he's not exactly our favorite son. <laughs> <laughs> but unless the folks here want to try me for being a hypocrite, I reckon we better get on trying you for trespass, assault, jailbreak, and horse theft. All right, Jeff Connors, you have anything you care to add to your testimony? And uh, try not to color it. I ain't doing no coloring, Judge. You painted yourself a blue belly. <laughs> Order. Stand up, Jeff. Well, I ain't got nothing to add. Except that this man trespassed on that land and he hit... Uh, he assaulted me. Thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> the court will now listen to the testimony of one of our own Confederate boys. Name's Johnny Yuma, folks. 
He has honesty and courage. His traditions are ours. His beliefs are the same. Matter of fact, he might have been one of our own sons. Johnny, tell the court what you saw this morning. Let him have it, kid. <laughs> I should have killed you while I had the chance, you spineless rebel scum! Well, let the man speak. He tried to steal my horse. Thank you, Johnny. Well, folks, that completes the testimony. The court will now address the jury. Tell the jury how you robbed me of my land, how you forged my dead wife's name, and I was helpless in the northern land. And when I nailed you on it, how you destroyed the evidence? Get him out. Get him out of here. He stole my land. He's railroading me to shut me up. He gives speeches about your glorious traditions. And you form a mob for his greed. I swear to you on my mother's grave that my father's telling the truth. Why, it had to be forgery. My mother could neither read nor write. There are no papers. There's no evidence. Because Judge Russell has destroyed that evidence. He's exploiting your hatred for my father to... Order! Order in court! It's irrelevant to the issue at hand, folks, but as long as it's come up. Will Randall's wife, as you all know, died of a heart attack. But perhaps what you didn't know, because she was a woman who kept to herself, is that she didn't want to be here when her husband returned from fighting his Yankee war. I'm sorry, Elaine, I tried to protect you from knowing that. She was ashamed. She wanted to leave. That's not true. She asked me to buy her land so she'd have enough money to start over someplace else. And my heart bled for the poor soul. So I bought it. You're lying! Would any one of you in this courtroom have put up ten dollars for that worthless two acres of land on the outskirts of town? Not unless there's gold or something on it, Judge. You find any gold on that land, Matt, and I'll make you a present of the whole parcel plus the land I got next to it. Well, you have all you need, folks. Let your decision be fair and just. Although Will Randall is a man whose own wife turned from him in shame and disgrace, and although he made a mockery of his heritage and our struggles for life and dignity, we have given him his day in court. Now let the decent law-abiding citizens of this town give me their answer. What is the jury's decision? The jury finds Will Randall guilty as charged, Judge. Bring the prisoner in for sentencing. Will Randall, this court sentences you to death by hanging. And may the Lord have mercy on your soul. Execution to be carried out 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Court dismissed. It's all right, honey. It's all right. Don't cry. Don't cry. got something else for your book, a story about justice, an eye for an eye and a man for a horse. I'm sorry, I... I didn't know. I never imagined it would go this far. They reached a verdict before the trial ever started. What do you think they've been doing out there?
like to see Randall. All right. What do you want? I want to help you. You've helped me enough already. Why would the judge want your land? To make mud pies, maybe. I saw your land. Looks worthless. There must be a reason. People don't murder for no reason. They do if they hate enough. And it's easy to find others to hate with them. And then they form a mob. But you know all about that, you know. If you hadn't added that horse dealing charge, they might have settled for something less than a hanging. I'm trying to help. I don't know where to start. You really got troubles, don't you? Told you you're wasting your time on him. We may be hurrying things some, but we're doing what we have to do. I want to check in some land transfers. See Jeff Connors. I want to see the records on the Randall property. You're not trying to stir up trouble, are you, Sonny? Look, I want the legal description of that land. You'll have to ride to Ridgeville for that. You might not make it back in time for the hanging. with the latest map. I know that land, son. It can't be for sale. I'd like to see it anyhow. Get up. Shoot her, I'll let go of the trapdoor and hang him. 
You don't mean it. You want to risk it? Before I count the nine, tell them about the land. Otherwise, you're dead. You'll be killed one second later. One! Two! You don't mean it. Three! I ain't so sure. Four! Five! Six! He's bluffing! Seven! Th th there's gold on the land! Eight! Hold it! Hold it! You better hurry, Judge. My nerves are jumping. I stole the land. Don't be shy. Everybody wants to hear your speech. You make real good ones. Tell them. You're bluffing. Try me. I stole the land. I forged Mrs. Randall's signature. Jeff Connors was in it with me. Tell him why you wanted the land. The government wanted to buy it. To build a military post. That enough for you, Sheriff? That's enough. You pulled a good bluff. For me to say it, Reb. But thanks. Well, I was wrong too, and when you've been wrong, it's not enough just to be sorry. You gotta do something about it. You can stay here and move on. I think maybe we found us a place. We're gonna stay. Maybe I'll find a place myself one day. Why'd you do it, Johnny? Why'd you stick your neck out? Man for a horse, it just doesn't figure. Maybe I'll see you around, huh?